All right, well, this Sunday, June 6th, is National Cancer Survivors Day when we collectively celebrate the lives of survivors of all forms of cancer. Joining me with what more we can all do to honor survivors and their loved ones, Jeff Bayless from the American Cancer Society. Good to see you. You too, Sonia. So you and I have talked really throughout this pandemic about the lockdown, the impact on screening. So people had to skip mammograms and colonoscopies. What was the result of all of that? Well, you know, as we discussed at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, we saw a 90% reduction in screening rates, uh, which is significant. And recent reports are out now that show that number is still down 30% from pre-pandemic levels, which is a significant barrier in a cancer fight. Um, so Jeff, you know, what do we do to bounce back from that? I mean, do, is it, you know, the 30% figure that you talked about, is it that people are still worried about going into their doctor's offices or maybe they're just not getting it done? Maybe they've forgotten. It's a number of things, but one of the big drivers is nearly 12 million Americans who lost their jobs during the pandemic also lost their employee covered health insurance, which uh, has been significantly challenging for those to get screened, those regular screenings, or even in a continuance of care that they were already undergoing. Yeah, I think that's a really important point to make. And I know that you guys have a lot of resources that can help those folks to kind of bridge that gap. Absolutely. Um, if, if, if you need assistance, first and foremost, you can always call us 24 seven to our cancer helpline where you can get one-on-one -on -one, uh, consultation uh, and navigation that'll uh, really kind of help you look and explore those options, some of which include uh, you, you can enroll in Medicaid here in the state of Texas. You can go to healthcare.gov and, and, and the healthcare marketplace to enroll. Um, but there are also some programs through the CDC for breast, cervical, and colorectal early detection uh, that might be able to provide some assistance there as well. Okay, so let's talk about this Sunday, National Cancer Survivors <laughs> Day. This is really intended to be I said a celebration of life earlier this week and really also an inspirational day for anyone recently diagnosed. Exactly. Um, there are more than 17 million survivors in the United States, most of which were diagnosed more than five years ago. So that population is growing and uh, we celebrate survivorship every single day, but Sunday's a special day. And as you mentioned, uh, it's really there to encourage those that have been recently diagnosed uh, but it's also for the families to help celebrate who were along that journey and still are along that journey. Uh, and it gets the communities involved. And most importantly, hopefully it raised some awareness that, yes, you need to go out and get, get those regular screenings and please get back to screen. So Jeff, what can we all do to offer support to survivors and their families specifically on Sunday? What do you suggest? Uh, well, I, listen, just it, it, it do what you've always done as encourage them to continue their journey, uh, encourage others, to get screened and do all the prevention and early detection uh, processes and things that you need to do. And, uh, and I would say listen to you because healthy eating and exercise is a key part of cancer prevention. Always love when my guests come on and tell people to listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bayless, thank you so much. Good to see you, friend. And I, yeah, I'll be posting about uh, all this on Sunday as well. Fantastic. Thank you, Sonia.